Well, guys, I think we're restarting that because... Because... My internet cut out. I just wanted to stream in peace. It was an hour or something. It wasn't the shortest. I've had my internet cut out within, like, I think 15 or 30 minutes of recording. <laughs> well, I'm streaming. So, um... Uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's get, get back to this. The first part of this conversation I've seen before. A anyone heads up, uh, if you're watching this now, my, my internet cut out. I'm sorry about that. So... <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry for my stream element. That's probably gonna kick in in a second too. Okay, let's, my internet's cut twice now, so let's hope for the best here. You already know that this isn't your first Zeus festival, don't you? I'm sure you already know how to use this. A knowledge capsule? Where did you get it? What's inside? You should use it too, Paimon. Uh, you, you know Paimon? Let's use it together. Uh, this seems kinda sketchy, but Paimon feels like what we should do. Those cutscenes still. This is our 20th time at the Sub Zero's festival? Huh? No. The 30th? 40th? Just how many times have we been to the Sub Zero's festival? Have we been trapped in a single day? Oh shit, minor lag on my part. My internet's not doing shit yet. Okay, yeah, we're starting to get back to where I got cut off, so let's hope nothing bad happens again. Or if it's gonna happen, happen right before anything new happens again. <laughs> okay. And I answered that question a long time ago. Let Paimon think. Oh, it's coming back. Meeting you was the real catalyst for restoring our memories, and the knowledge capsule was just your means of showing our minds the way. Uh, what about everyone else? Why are you only helping the two of us? Your sense of deja vu is stronger than everyone else's, yes? As for an explanation, you two received the blessing of Dendro. And you and also sensitive have constitutions. constitutions. It was as if a single sheet of paper was separating those memories from your consciousness. Yeah, has the replays, like, like, the over and over and over again, like, fucked, like, fucked her up really bad? Seventh time I've asked. Oh, God. As you can see, she isn't doing well. You probably sensed it, too. The Dunyar mm -hmm. you were just with is different from the first Dunyar you met. Mm-hmm. A hundred percent. That first Dunyar is in front of you right now, and... She doesn't have a lot of time, time yet. Time no! <laughs> it looks like you're almost done sorting out your brain. Oh, yeah. I'm Nahida. 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 Okay, I'll try to keep that in mind. I, I'm still bad. You passed the test. What's happening? You can awaken our memories, and you seem like you know what's going on. Oh, wait, please don't tell Paimon. Even you don't know. Everything in this world runs in a loop. This cycle is called the samsara. You, me, and everyone else are all stuck inside the one-day samsara. As for the truth. That's on you to find out. If you were told the truth instead of discovering it yourselves, it would literally blow your minds. I don't know how you'd be after that. I can only give you surface level help, like bits of information and subtle hints. For the rest of the time, 
I'll be doing all I can to slow down Dunyarzad's illness. You were friends with her. Like That's something you promised. Her illness gets worse after mm -hmm. Zero's festival. She's been constantly exerting herself, and technically we've been spending a shit long time here. She's just a small bird in bird the sky that's yeah. about to lose its last feathers. All I can do is raise a gale to delay her fall. You sure love to use weird analogies. <laughs> analogies are wonderful tools. They let you use existing knowledge to understand unfamiliar things. Okay, so, with what you know so far, what do you think the truth is? Contemplation, you can choose the text entry to interpret it. Some text entries can be associated with another one interpreted. Select associate to associate to choose the other text entry, then select trigger association. You can gain new text entries by performing accurate associate. If one of the text entries on the current page can be used as a conclusion, then select the entry before choosing Submit. What's happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has been getting stronger and stronger. My mind feels exhausted. Even though I haven't done too much thinking, what is going on? The moon, illusions, and lies. What do they all mean? The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate mm -hmm. the of that line to your heart's content. Did he mean something more? We've already experienced the Sub Zerus festival many times. Day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. My mind feels what's happening right the moon, the grand sage. is endlessly cycling within one single day. My mind... F the Grand Sage... The Moon... What's happening? My mind... That I don't know. Oh. The Grand Sage said... Doesn't sound right. That doesn't. That doesn't. That doesn't. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was. I wanted to select that by the way on that last I've one. Given similarly wrong answers in the past. A pity. Yeah, I didn't think it was that either. I not that a simple time loop can't explain mm -hmm. the phenomena. You two are still missing a lot. And and it wouldn't be. Well, it shouldn't, in a way, be affecting her that bad. <laughs> They're holding her health hostage against my brain. Oh no. Zeru's festival is happening every day, but that doesn't mean we can waste an infinite amount mm -hmm. of them. Hurry and find the truth before today's festival ends. Can we stalk this stupid, pompous asshole? The idea of a time loop, so we must have missed something, right? 
Mm-hmm. memories say that we've already done this many times, but let's go talk to people again. It's more productive than sitting here and scratching our heads. Why don't we start with those stall owners? Do you think we can talk to Nilu? I want to try talking to other people too, you know. Like I for us it's true. I'm just so wary and scared. This is a matter of life or death and we're simply here. I need more flowers. Are we going to the stall owners we've spoken to? Yeah, no, it can't just be a time loop, though. Because if it was a time loop... Every new action... Don't, don't you think those actions sh wouldn't be recorded? Right? Like, this could just be me going, like, into it and, like, over thinking, but every new action has been recorded as in, in the memory. Because, you know, we didn't go to the uh, tavern yet, remember, they said, oh yeah, I tried this, and it was like, well, this is the first time we've seen you try it. So, that, that means, you know, it is being documented each time. So it's not the same as a time loop, because you'd just be repeating the same thing over and over and over again. Like, without change. But it sounds like we've changed numerous times. I'm trying to think ahead, but... Yeah, there's more to it than just a simple time loop. Hey, there. hey it's you guys again. Where's your cultured friend? Because mm. it... Um, going anime here. Um, and uh, Spoilers for Madoka Magica, okay? Um, it, it's like with um, Madoka. In, in that one, there is a... It's a timeline. Now, it's not time loops. It, it's literally with each and every quote-unquote loop. It, it, cha it, it changes the world. And it really... It, it changed how certain characters would interact would get along, this and that. There were some things that were unavoidable, like you couldn't change, but otherwise, there were different actions being taken by different people during that time. And so I'm thinking it's something like that. She... Uh, she's feeling a little unwell. I see. Did you come back to buy something? I guarantee the freshness of my products. I harvested them from the forest just yesterday. Huh? What brought this about? I hurried back from the forest yesterday, and I'm selling protos here today. I haven't felt anything strange. Hmm. Um, to put it another way, if you really, really think about it, was yesterday truly yesterday? Did you actually come back from the forest yesterday? What kind of philosophical nonsense is this? Are you too I wish we were just daydreaming, but that's not the case here. Didn't you know that no one dreams in Sumeru? Go somewhere else if you want to find someone to daydream with. Oh, fuck off with that statement, though. We're genuinely trying to help someone out, but... Actually has a point. Is this a dream? No one dreams in Sumeru. True. It's you two. Was my divination so accurate that you felt compelled to compliment me in person? Ooh, I knew it! I told you, the god's divination is highly accurate. I tried to flex in the bottom of my controller, said no. <laughs> You're really excited about this, huh? 
That's exactly why we came back. Help us better understand it. Uh, help you better understand it? W well, <laughs> that isn't exactly what I excel at. So, you're admitting that you don't have a clue? Anyway, what kind of situation did you get into? A seriously horrible one. You guys just lost your wallet or, or fell for a scam. What you just said, are you serious? Does that kind of thing actually happen in real life? I knew you weren't going to believe it. Marvelous. Truly marvelous. I believe you. Recall the interpretation of your divination. Yeah, an omen, a terrible one. Illusions and lies. It really felt like an omen. Say it like that. The divination does sound like it's related to what's going on. Can you read any more into it? I believe that the Archon's revelations are never more than vague hints. Anything more specific is beyond the reach of mere mortals. The book no, which is what says, if you trust your instincts, Nahida is saying, fears, yeah. the sun will surely rise. So that's how it is. Looks like fortune telling is just fortune telling. It's no good for practical problems. I haven't made any progress. Who else can we talk to? Hmm. Yeah, let's try talking to her. I tried talking to her a couple of times, but she always thinks we're playing pranks on her. You think she'll brush us off again? Yeah, no, she cares a lot about. Yeah, no. No, Dunian's are. She really cares. Mm -hmm. Not just the responsibility as a mercenary. She, she truly seems to, you know, care. Beating up those kidnappers, yeah. No, she just truly cares about her. So, I, I think she would. She would definitely care about the outcome of this. Fine, my lady. It's just a scratch. Perfect timing. Both of you are here. Paimon, traveler, you came at just the right time. Listen, there was a dangerous get. Huh? You saw? Then why didn't you jump in earlier? If someone was protecting Miss Dunier's odd, I could have went all out. <sighs> anyway, can you do something for me? You want the traveler to take Dunier's odd somewhere to rest? Well, you check to see if there's still any kidnappers around. Did Paimon get that right? How did you know what I was going to say? Oh, we've heard this so many times. something convincing. Dia sold her greatsword to raise additional funds. And then she was injured because she wasn't used to her new weapon. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. Really letting him speak here today. The moon, illusions, and lies. So is it gonna be abnormal Have mental no fatigue? Meaning? My mind feels exhausted. Even though I haven't done hmm. too much thinking. Tell her, traveler! Anyone about that, including Miss Dunier's odd, you couldn't have known. And just now, you literally took the words right out of my mouth. What's going on? All right, so this is the situation. <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe what you just told me. First, let me make something clear most of us desert dwellers might not be the scholarly type, but we do have basic common sense. She's Quieter than usual. Uninterested in anything and really gloomy. Yeah, she isn't the same as before, but her parents said that this is how she was like at first. Huh? At first? I don't quite understand what you're all talking about. I'll go rest on the bench over there. Yeah, that's not her. My lady. 
Are you angry? All right, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt since you knew about my greatsword. Let's make this a quick trip. Miss Dunyarzad isn't completely safe here. Yeah, no, we need to bring you over. So, d she said, um, this is how she used to be. Or something along those lines. So, do you think... Okay. Okay, my mind's just going through all the 50,000 miles. Okay. Me not knowing that you can go through the city like that. <laughs> Nahida! We brought a friend! Are you busy? I thought I told you that it won't help to bring anyone here. We just wanted her to see the real Dunyarzad's condition. The real Dunyarzad? Uh, where? And who are you talking to? Oh, so she straight can't see her. Hmm. Huh? Uh, I told you that you two are special. Other people can't see me or Miss Dunyarzad here. Yeah. Right there. Mm-hmm. Come on, you have to notice. Hold on. Over there. Is that... Wow. How perceptive. <laughs> An invisible antenna. No, I'm no. Miss Dunyarzad, she's... She's lying down here, isn't she? How's she doing? Her condition's really bad. And she's basically in a coma. How did you know she was here? I... Can sense her aura. I... <sighs> There are also lingering feelings of something like regret or disappointment. What happened? Do you believe us now? The sub -Zero's festival has been repeating itself. So, you think the sages are behind this? Yeah, I'd believe it. They've mm -hmm. always been against us. Wouldn't surprise me if they're using the Akasha to intentionally repeat the sub -Zero's festival as a sick joke. You have a point. Aside from the Dendro Archon, the Academia Sages are the only ones in Sumeru who could pull off something like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's more to the Akasha than we know. Right. Didn't you awaken our memories using something that looks like a knowledge capsule? Like, I know you have to be kind of vague with us, but anything at all? Even small. The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate. The as Gnosis. As the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. A Gnosis can do that? No wonder the Akasha is so magical. It's being powered by the Gnosis of Sumeru's Which is probably why they're not giving a shit about... So, uh, That's fucked this up. Nahida you mentioned. What did she say? She said, at Paimon quotes, I don't think Dia knows what a Gnosis is. We we weren't even supposed to know. But I mean, let's break it up a few more rules. We don't really care about Celestia here. Compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and grants knowledge to the people. Wait. I get the grants knowledge part. That's what people have always used the Akasha for, but... Entire populace's entire wisdom. Populace's yeah. Wisdom? How does that work? Did she mean that the sages enter new knowledge into the Akasha? Oh, yeah. That sounds about right. What do you think? Oh, God. This again? People in Sumeru don't dream. What? Okay. Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. My mind feels... What's happening right now?
But this... I don't know. That doesn't sound right. Okay. Yeah. You mean the Akasha is causing our mental fatigue? Huh. Now that I think about it, my head's been feeling unusually heavy. When the desert dwellers set off on their quest for knowledge, a sage once said... Knowledge, knowledge always, always comes, comes at, a price. at a price. Compiling the entire country's knowledge. You think the Akasha pulled a 180 and is extracting information from us? Who knows? The Akasha can put knowledge into our heads, so who's to say that it can't also poke around in there? I don't know any specifics. What's the point of doing something like that? That's the question. If you could combine the knowledge of every single person in Sumeru, then you can basically turn Sumeru City into a single massive brain. This hive mind could make breakthroughs and problems that even the smartest geniuses can't crack. An excellent deduction. And the analogy comparing Sumeru City to a massive brain? <sighs> I love it. In that case, we should take off our Akasha terminals right away. Maybe that'll solve this problem. I don't think it'll be that simple. Yeah. I was only wearing this for show in the first place. Didn't expect the sages to cook up such a conspiracy. Mark my words. When this is over, I'm getting evidence and exposing this whole thing to the public. How does everyone feel? Huh? What is it? There's always the sound of a beep. Oh, that! Hyman knows what you're talking about! It's a single soft beep that sounds like it's coming from the Akasha terminal! The sound of a beep? Could it be a prompt tone for when the Akasha is operating? That's probably an important clue. We weren't using our terminals, but we heard a beep anyway! Oh, there it is. I heard it too. Our ears aren't messing with us. There was definitely a beep, but it sounded like it was coming from inside my head. We took off our Akasha terminals. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, are, uh, did, is this backfiring on them? Oh, fuck that. No, lose your progress. Lose your progress. Your progress is not worth lives. Your progress is not worth any life. Oh, is she gonna die because of this? I'm going to. Absolutely. Oh, lose it. This time. We definitely took off our Akasha Yeah, I knew it wasn't gonna be that simple, but... But we still heard that beep. Why is that? <sighs> but now we can at least confirm one thing. The Akasha definitely has something to do with whatever's trapping us in this cycle. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Why would the Akasha go this far if all it wants is everybody's wisdom? It's extremely difficult for lab rats in an experiment to understand why they're being treated the way they are. If we're lab rats, then what are you? Nahida, you've never told us anything about yourself. Hmm. I guess... I'm the moon. I'm the moon. Moon illusions mm -hmm. lies. Wasn't that the result of our divination? Anyway, knowing who I am won't help you get closer to the truth. So you should focus on other things. Don't get distracted and miss any clues. <sighs> okay then. Dia helped us a lot yesterday, so let's go find her. If Hyman's reading the time correctly, those kidnappers should be showing up soon. If we want to get stuff faster, do you think we should try interrupting beforehand? Ah, there you are. I've already taken care of those kidnappers. My lady, did you get hurt? <gasps> Dia? What's wrong? Why are you both gawking at me like that? 
Oh no. You know she didn't. Huh? Okay. This time. Why are you so surprised that I managed to get out unscathed? Those kids were amateurs. You know about my great sword. I haven't told anyone about it. Please don't tell Miss Dooner's ad. So she's got knowledge from it. So Tia's lost her memories after all. Anything strange? You already know that I got a new great sword. Hmm. If I had to say something. Feel so familiar. So yes. Yes. So she has the deja vu now. She does have the deja vu. Already used mm -hmm. to fight a Since you have. Battles. You have. Come on. Come on, Dia. You don't using it, your body yeah, the body like remembers. The body remembers. That's right. Both mercenaries and warriors heavily rely on muscle memory. Only knowing the theory of battle won't get you anywhere. Traveler, what do you think? Yeah. Hyman's feeling really hopeful. I don't think it's quite broken. We're talking about, but it's still dangerous here, so. So you want us to take Dinyar's on somewhere else to rest while you check if there are still more kidnappers around, right? I don't know. How did you know what I was gonna say? Can you read minds? No. Uh, uh, forget it. Go and do your thing. I don't think we've broken it quite yet. I, it's not that. Oh no. No, uh, no, it's not broken, but we've fucked with it a little bit. Really? Good job on all that progress. Get some good sleep tonight. Hey, what kind of an answer is that? I don't think we've solved it. Tomorrow will come. Everyone assumes this is common knowledge, but the only way you can know that for sure is, is if, if you experience tomorrow. tomorrow. How many today's has it been? Is, is it, it possible, possible that today will be followed by yesterday? yesterday? This tomorrow truly exists oh. as anything beyond a made-up concept? It's even possible that this entire world is a lie, and the history of the whole world has just been one endless sub festival. Okay, okay, no more! Hyman's brain is already shut down! <laughs> the music in the Actually, background here. It makes no sense to waste your energy thinking about things you will learn tomorrow. Get some good rest! You know, use the bathroom and flush your anxiety to kill away. Uh, oh my god, really? Oh, I think you heard her. Yeah, yeah, you heard her fine, Paimon. Yeah. Huh? People always say they feel a sense of relief after they take a duke duke. That's oh. why I suggested you could try that. Oh. That Don't say it. Don't say it again. It's so strange and so against common sense that. Kind of smart just a minute ago. I don't think you're not sounding smart, but yeah, we're gonna get some rest. We're getting rest. Even though it's happy and lively at the Sub Zero's festival every day, it feels like it's been a long time since we've really gotten to relax. Oh, let's go back to our room. The music. No! No sacrifices are trivial! No sacrifices are fucking trivial. I'm gonna come at these people. Please tell me we get to fight these people. I want to rub their fucking audacity in their face. Am I being upset, overly, and aggressive? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. My... <laughs> I'm not getting personal, like like I said in the last last stream. I'm trying not to get personal. 
I'm really not. But just note, I haven't been streaming. I haven't been recording shit. Because my life has felt like utter shit. For like... Two years almost now. So... Yeah. I, 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 I'm not here for this fucking bullshit stupidity audacity. And I'm just so concerned. We're still in the same day! Yep. Nahida, you already knew last night that yeah. you break out of the Simsara? Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell us? I figured as much. Spent the night with new worries. Yeah. Tomorrow still out of reach. In that case, you might as well rest within that brief moment of hope. An opportunity like that doesn't come by often. We thought it might help you clear your minds. I'm a that the Duke Duke did that. Oh, whatever. Guess you were looking out for us after all. <laughs> of course. In the time we've been together, you two have been everything to me. Taking things a little fast. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, even though I had asked you to solve this puzzle, you two are still the only ones who can see me and sense my presence. In other words, if you weren't here, I may as well not exist. That's why you two have been everything to me. Get it? Nahida's talking about confusing stuff again. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. So, Traveler, did the new clues yesterday help you gain a new understanding of the situation? The time loop theory is indeed incorrect. Huh? Why are you scrapping your previous theory? Oh, yeah! Gosh, how did we not notice that? In a simple time loop, people's physical conditions should also reset. So, what's your new hypothesis? Mercenaries rely heavily on muscle memory. And Dia was able to use her experiences to avoid injury in later Samsara cycles. Okay. Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of... <sighs> if all our memories of a day are erased at the end of that day... Then we shouldn't- we can't be learning, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was given food, so if I stop talking for a second, it's my way of taking a break too. Instead of our uh, memory, uh, instead our memories are being erased at the end of each day. We aren't in a time loop. Oh, That's why it would explain why things are still yeah. Yeah, they're just taking everything in. crystal fly for a firefly in the night. You lost sight of its true nature because you focus too much on your perception that it glows. That isn't simple at all! Why don't you go talk to Miss Dia again? You might learn something new. Right! She did help us find our latest clue after all. Let's go! <laughs> I wish we still brought her over here, even though there was a change.
Okay, yeah. How's it reset yet? Convenient, considering every day has been looping. There you are. Really took me a while to find you. As expected, Dia also didn't get hurt today. Get hurt? Why would I? Don't underestimate me. Well, you're still getting used to your new great sword. Huh. Truth be told, I also think it's pretty strange. It just suddenly felt so familiar in my hands and... Uh, wait a second! How did you know I got a new great sword to begin with? I didn't tell anyone about it. Traveler, could you explain the situation to her today? Paimon's gotten a little sick of doing it. Oh, that works! What happened to you guys while I was gone? Did you get brainwashed by some cult? Um, don't think too hard about it. Just take what we're saying at face value. All right, then. Let me get this straight. You're telling me that my body's already gotten used to this great sword, but my brain just doesn't remember it? Yes, your memory's being erased every day. Then I'd have to disagree. That's impossible. Oh? Why do you think that? If we've actually been reliving the Subzerus festival day after day, then what happened to the things we used, the money we spent, the food we ate? Common sense says my wallet should have emptied itself a long time ago. There's no way I wouldn't have noticed that. Right! They could use the Akasha to record what everyone did that day, and then use the city's resources to replenish everything! It's not very likely, but it's also not impossible. No, it is impossible. I've got proof. You have proof? Where? <sighs> you two are surprisingly serious about this nonsensical discussion. Fine, I'll play along for a little longer. Come with me, Miss Dunyarzad. Please come along as well. I still can't guarantee that this area is safe. Paimon can't believe it's Dia who wants to show us something this time. Two days ago, we were the ones taking her to see Dunyarzad. Okay. Yeah, because we're still missing like a key piece, but hmm. This is it. Huh? This is a wooden training dummy. What about it? See those marks on the dummy? Those are the result of several days worth of practice. Let's say the sages didn't replace it every day. Shouldn't it be hacked to pieces by now? That's true, but what if they did? Then the sages would have had to reproduce every mark I left during previous training sessions. I'm a professional fighter. My martial school has always emphasized the importance of refined control. The force, angle, and entry point of each strike is calculated and deliberate. That's why I remember every mark on the dummy as well as my state of mind as I made each strike. It's just as they say, each swordsman has their own unique style, and even the same swordsman can't make the same cut twice. It would be impossible to copy these marks. Is it really impossible? <gasps> what if they use some fancy machine to carve every single mark? People often say that a camera's photo can never replace an artist's painting because the former yeah. has no spirit it, to it. Mm -hmm. The same thing There's always going to be something off a about a glance, duplicate. Differentiate carved marks from the results of combat training. Whew, I hope that cleared things up for you. Hey. Anyway, it's getting late. I should escort Miss Dunyarzad to Nilu's stage. See you later. Oh, we need to try something else. Back to square one. <sighs> but at least we've reached some other conclusions in the meantime. Yep, that's true. So. Can we think of any strange? Paimon feels like everything's been strange lately. Huh? 
leaving the city. You're right. Wait. It's really strange how we never thought of such a simple solution. Many things should become clear if we can confirm the flow of time outside of the city. Paimon can't believe it. Did we miss this because we're tunnel visioning too hard on our other theories? Or because we're just too t How about we go back and- It, it could be the influence, but who knows. I don't know. It, it is strange. If we haven't thought about that once, then I feel like it might have been some, like, outside force that kind of just made that not a thought. Nahida! We're back! You're back early today. Did you find something new? Sort of. We're mostly sure now that we're not in a time loop. And we also aren't in the real world. But at the same hmm, leaving the city. As far as I remember, you Okay, we've tried twice. twice. We've tried car. twice. We did? But we don't remember anything. What happened after we talked about those plans? What did we say when we got back? <sighs> Let me think. I don't think you ever actually told me what the outcome was. Oh, it's probably more accurate to say that both times, you never came back the whole night. But you two sometimes stay out the entire night anyway, so at the time, I didn't think too much about it. it is okay, so something must have happened then. During our investigations. Before we know it, it'll already be the next day. But still... Neither of us remember anything mm -hmm. about leaving town. And it's weird because we've started remembering all the other ones. That's kind of strange. In theory, I should have already awakened all your memories. Yep. Something here is definitely fishy. Let's get to the bottom of this tomorrow. Traveler, aside from your memories that were just restored, I have another message for you. Another message? Listen to it and you'll understand. Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subserus Festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. There are countless spaces here. Oh my god, Art. Hold on. My cat was attacking a figure. He had to go save it. There are countless spaces here. Our Super Festival in Samara City is just one of them. Spaces. Yeah, pockets. Like, pockets of time. Pockets of this and that, right? Traveler, Something like that? You should be missing two days worth of memories. Paimon will fill you in. It's time to carry out our plan from yesterday. What? We're working in a memory space? What the hell is this? I could probably collect stuff from here, right? <laughs> or will this disappear on me too? Wait, that's actually it. No, if we've collected anything from those days and we've gotten to keep them, that also kind of proves... ...things too. I think. Oh, this is so weird. Why can't we leave the city? What is the academia oh. up to now? They're literally holding us hostage. It's not like I can tell you anything. This is a direct order from the Grand Sage. Just wait until tomorrow. I have a real emergency. My goods have already arrived at Port Ormos. If I don't He looks hurry, so fucking exhausted. Stupid. Oh That's no. Make sure you make a request in advance next time. But, but it's not like you can just predict business matters in advance. <laughs> it looks like the Academia already announced the lockdown for Sumeru City today. How completely unsurprising. Let's go and question them. Hello, sir. Why can't 
you leave the city today? Here we go again. Don't ask me. I don't know either. We just received an order that no one is allowed to enter or exit Sumeru today. They didn't tell us anything else. <laughs> Angering me won't get you anywhere. If I had that kind of insider info, I would have left this stupid post long ago. It looks like he really doesn't know. If we can't get anything out of him, let's take matters into our own hands. Why don't we climb over the walls? Those guards can't be everywhere at once. This is a good spot. In reality, it should be so easy for us to get out, but okay. Leaving the city might trigger disruptions to our memories. But what if things get really weird out there and you get into some trouble? And then Paimon won't be able to help you. Oh, Paimon knows that Paimon can't do much, but we've always been together, haven't we? I get your worries, Paimon, but we have to try this. And obviously it paid off by doing okay. this. Mm-hmm. We came back. But that means literally leaving the place fucks with you. Okay. Paimon, can you tell us your perspective of what really happened yesterday? Hmm, I see. Using two people's different perspectives. After that, you left the city. Paimon kept her eyes on you the whole time, but then you... Disappeared. disappeared. your perspective traveler you sure you don't have any memory of this okay so yeah we just straight tell you to remember the day happened i guess that explains everything you also lost your memories the last two times you tried to leave the city those days memories can't be awoken so if we leave the city our memories will be completely erased Sounds like something big outside of the city is being hidden on purpose. No, it 100% is. Never discover what's outside. Something like a message? But how can we send it back? D doesn't look at me like that. I'm, I'm not used to being stared at. I'm sorry. Well, okay, okay. You want something that can pass on messages, right? Give me some time and take care of Dunyar's out for me. Yep, now we're talking. Terminal? Hang me, 
made some little changes. Akasha terminals are already capable of sending messages. Tweak it so it can connect to anyone. Okay, okay. To make something like this, Nahida, you really know the Akasha like the back of your hand. Anyway, we can use this now to record a message, right? Yep. <laughs> I'll help you save the messages. It should be pretty easy to use. I just can't guarantee the user's status and signal coverage when they're outside the city. We'll never know until we try! At least Better we than nothing, so yeah, now. true. Let's go then! Let's expose those sages! Uh, Alright. Paimon isn't as worried about being separated since it happened once yesterday. But... Paimon still isn't happy about it. Yep, see you tomorrow. Okay! Covers everything that's happened so far. <sighs> yes, although the signal was choppy and had some interference, we still managed to receive two messages from you when you were outside. Okay, now that you understand what's going on, let's hear the messages together. Okay. Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzeru's festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. I've entered another space. Before me are flowing sandstone and howling fish. Impossible and surreal sights. All these spaces are empty except for the occasional ones that contain mute puppets rather than people. I can't sense any human presence. Hmm. That's one heck of an info dump. It sounds like you left the Sumeru city space when you stepped foot outside of the walls. But everything looked completely normal when Paima was looking out from the inside. Hmm. That's unbelievable. And if we take your word for it, the other spaces all had very weird contents. There's another part here. We only received it last night. These spaces have been disappearing one after the other, absorbed by something like a sun in the sky. And now, even the final space has also disappeared. Hmm. Behind me, a lot of spaces just appeared again from thin air. These spaces are actually. Those spaces are actually. No, ah, B bitch. Uh, uh, why did the message end right there? What did the traveler want to say? What are those spaces? Probably because yesterday just happened to end at that moment. Oh, right. Terrible timing. Paimon did hear a beep from the Akasha. Did it come from here, or from the message? The message. It should have come from the Traveler's Akasha Terminal. After the beep, Traveler said, even the final space has also disappeared. <sighs> Traveler, what do you think that final space could have been? All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common. A lack of human presence. Was that space actually the real world? But wouldn't a real space just randomly disappearing like that be catastrophic? My impression is that each day in this samsara only ends at the sound of that beep from the Akasha. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had... My impression... the sound of the beep, the final space, the sub festival, also disappears, and we're taken to the next day. Later on, Traveler also mentioned a bunch of new spaces materializing behind them. Do lots of new spaces appear every day? Paimon's head is spinning. Just what are these spaces anyhow? Well, consider this. For all the horrors of the Archon War, 
At its heart, it was just a game where a bunch of gods fought over seven seats. So no matter how strange or spooky things may look on the surface, maybe all they point to in the end is a small and simple secret. Wow. Could be the yeah, case. More, huh? That's an analogy and a half. A familiar bench in the city. Okay. I love that you can just cut through here, honestly. It makes things a little simpler. Uh, I, I wish I would hewed in on that. I don't know. My thoughts are everywhere. I'm kind of just at this point letting it go. My brain has basically said, give up on theories. You're not good. Um... So, yeah. If you notice my silence there, I was really just more intrigued. That's the one thing about this. Like, I, I, I don't always have commentary because I'm just so taken in by the story and all that. Okay. Do you want some alone time hmm. to think? <sighs> Alright then, Pyma won't disturb you. The dance of Subzeros is about to begin. I'm going to go watch it. Okay. Um, why don't you go ahead, Dunyarzad? We still have some other stuff to do first. Okay, then. I'll see you later. Have you figured it out yet, Traveler? Time is ticking away. Awesome! What is it? Kaima wants to know. Oh, wait, no. Let's meet up with Nahida first. You can tell us both together. This time, we're gonna get to the truth. Okay. The empty illusion of the Subarus Festival. Hmm. Subarus. I know I'm saying it slightly wrong, I'm sorry. Time to go. Uh Grand Bazaar. Are you ready to take your Subzeris exam and graduate from the festival? <laughs> okay. First off, have you discovered the hidden truth? Okay. Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. We've already experienced the Subzerus festival many times, and all the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common. A lack of human presence. And those spaces remind me of... dreams. Like the one I had in the Avidia forest. Except these have no sign of human presence. The moon... illusion... People in Sumeru don't dream. We are all in a dream. It isn't that the a dream space. I was thinking that originally. God damn it. I thought it would sound stupid if I ever said that. But apparently, you know. People in Sumeru think they don't dream. But the truth is, the Akasha steals their dreams without them knowing it. And those spaces with no human presence are stolen dreams without their host. That would explain why they sounded so weird when he was trying to describe them. Huh. So people in Sumeru do dream after all. That's yeah, it's weird really that it was always brought up that they do. don't. Correct answer. Now, how did you conclude that the Akasha is capable of this? 
The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate. It is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the... and it grants knowledge... That doesn't sound right. And it grants knowledge... To... It is the manifestation of... The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate. It is the manifestation of... Oh, okay. Those dream-controlling creatures in the forest also get their power from the Dendro Archon, right? That would explain why the Akasha has the ability to control people's dreams, too. But... is stealing everyone's dreams really how the Akasha compiles their wisdom? Isn't there anything more to it than that? Dreams are fantastical, complex, and full of imagination. Mm -hmm. People's brains are the most active when they're dreaming. In other words, dreams are rich bundles of human wisdom. So, in other words, the complete opposite of how Hypatia understood it. Parma remembers her saying that the sages think dreams are foolish delusions. Well, the sages the are fucking no stupid. Dreams is a blessing from greater Lord Ruka Devada. Hmm. So it was all that a too. <laughs> trick? The real story is that the sages from the academia are using the Akasha to steal people's dreams for their own use, huh? Oh? By the sounds of it, you understand the current situation pretty well. So then, what about the samsara? The beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night, even though we removed our Akasha terminals. Those spaces kept disappearing before my eyes. But as soon as that beep sounded, many more spaces materialized. Those dreamscapes kept vanishing, but as soon as that beep sounded, more new spaces appeared. The Grand Sage said, My mind feels... We've already experienced... already experienced the subs Correct. The Sometimes I'm slow, okay, it's fine. Brain in a constant dream state, but also separating their consciousness from their own dream. Their disembodied consciousness is placed inside the collective dream of the Subzerus festival along with everyone else's, while their now vacant dreams are harvested by the Akasha. No one is any the wiser as another day passes in the dream, and so begins another samsara cycle. People wake up to yet another dream about the Subzerus festival. The dreams that belong to them are once again harvested by the Akasha. And so it continues. That's why every new person was immediately given a terminal. This is so fucked up. I know who you are. Come on. Oh, really? They say that alchemical divination. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to so listen to the other ones. I thought that one would be the hardest question. That's why I put it last. Nah, it's the easiest. <laughs> it's the only thing I was sure of. you have about here and now. Can humans really keep dreaming forever like this? Will it ever end? And if so, when they die. 
it, when they die is when it ends. Mm -hmm. They're killing people off by harvesting their dreams. Especially those whose health is compromised to begin with. Like Dunyarzad. This relentless exploitation takes an even harder toll on them. People's lives are at stake here, and nobody knows All in the pursuit of knowledge. Fuck off. I know, right? Why did they have to base this dream on my birthday? Could it really just be a coincidence? No, I feel like there's some other motive behind it. Wow. Now that's strange. The Academia Sages are determined to harvest lots of dreams in a short time, no matter the cost. They have to be up to no good. Mm-hmm. They're literally up to no good. I don't know anything about it. Traveler, do you have any information? The Grand Sage said, Go. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate. Celebrate the birth of that god? Could it mean? Firstly, this dream we're in is completely based on reality. People Secondly, you're probably wondering why people don't have any memories from earlier samsara, right? That's because people don't remember their dreams most of the time anyway. Anyways, yeah. And in any case, their actual dreams are being taken away from them by the Akasha. Mm -hmm. So whenever they wake up in this dream of the sub festival, they don't remember anything from their previous identical dream. That reminds Paimon! Traveler had a dream when we were in the Avidia Forest, but couldn't see what it was about after waking up. Is that an example of what you mean? Yes. Only after receiving the blessing of Dendril can a person gain the Dendril Element's dream-enhancing power. That explains the feelings of deja vu. Meanwhile, everyone else has no idea that they are in the sub Festival Samsara. All their dreams are stolen from them over and over again. Yes. I will repeat it. It's fucked up. I'm a broken record, I know. Deceiving the people of Samaru with no regard for their safety. No matter what they're trying to do, this is unforgivable. A hundred percent. After we end the sub Festival Samsara, we have to look into them. How can the sages of the Academia do this behind their Archon's back? Because they don't fucking care. They're fucking power hungry and stupid. I'm just the moon. The real sun. She, she may be gone, but you're here. You're here for a reason and a purpose, and they're fucking ignoring that. They say they're looking up to their greater lord, Ruka Devada. I'm sorry I'm saying it wrong. I know I am. I'm messing up at the very end, I know for a fact. But, and if I'm not, wow, but I, I think I am. But no. They are ignoring the blessing that it is to even get another person who can fill the role as the Archon back. And instead they're like, cool, you're new, this and that, oh, our great lord, this and that, we're taking the power. They didn't look up to their god if they're just going to take over like that. They would find it that, they wouldn't you think that that was your, your greater lord b bestowing upon you another source of maybe guidance, another source of someone to like be there and look up to? But instead they're not. They're treating you like shit. Ah, there's a beep. Oh, we're out of time today! I'll tell you how to break free of the samsara tomorrow. See you then. Hmm, we've been in here for way too long. Good morning, Nahida! Uh, wait, Junius Art is there. Paimon remembers everything. Should we instead say- <sighs> I'm afraid that what you're thinking right now is correct. No! Did Dunyarzad already disappear? No way. Are... Are we too late? The real Dunyarzad's consciousness has indeed disappeared. 
It can no longer endure the constant dream harvesting. We fucking just solved this! We... Hey Art, can you come back here, please? <laughs> we- we're so fucking close! Oh, I'm gonna fucking end this fucking hierarchy bullshit. Oh, this hierarchy's gonna fuck off. No need for face cam, I'm sure you know what I fucking look like right now. Oh, I can't breathe through my nose now. <laughs> Oh. Okay. The fuck off. Just, just fuck off. I, I, I should have known I need a tissue. Why well, I, I didn't. I don't know why I didn't think about it. Call me naive. Call me that. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go and quickly grab something to blow my nose. And maybe dry my tears that are just falling down my face. Uh, I'm ready to kill someone, <laughs> okay? Okay. Paimon can't believe it. Wait, so what about that other Dunyarzad? Just what is she? Is she also going to disappear? Okay. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. She's actually something like a puppet, but not completely. Hey, Arnt, if you want to come over here and, like, give me a hug, real Dunyarzad's consciousness could no longer keep, keep playing, playing her role in the stream. Mm hmm. So another Junior Zod appeared to replace her in the dream. Just, just like, like the, the grass, grass and the trees, trees the Junior Zod, Zod is just a building just block to the dream that helps keep it going. going. She's but here for Dia in this case, too. Like no, not Dunyar fucking Zod. at all. But the dream was probably Puppets manipulate that stuff. And yeah. can't copy the living person's vitality. After they're just all, there as a filler. Just there as filler. Mm -hmm. We know, speaking of which... The old Junior Zod might not have been too different from a puppet. Junior Zod truly believed that she met you within her consciousness. And it was you who inspired mm -hmm. her. I imagine so that's why she was so all. determined to work yes. on her. Because out of everyone she could have tried protecting, she chose Junior Zod. No one cared about her personality or, or thoughts. thoughts. It was only that she lived uh, to stall her. To stall yeah. yeah. I just gave her a little wisdom. So she could look at life in a new way. New way. Mm -hmm. So that she could be her own person. But even so, she still... It's still meant a lot to her. It, I'm still a long way off from being a real Archon. You've put way more of a start in, okay? You looked... You saw that one of... Like, yes, I know it was a small start. It was only one person. But it's not like you can start off by saving your entire fucking nation in one go. You're still young for an Archon, okay? You're only 500. That sounds ridiculous. But all the other Archons are at minimum 2,000. I think. I, I, I don't know the lore past, you know, everything we know already. I don't want to look into anything like that, because I, I, I want to be able to experience it in-game, right? So she's I, I think at least she's probably the youngest, right? She has to be at least minimum the youngest. I don't know. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but... Sorry, <laughs> I'm having another wave of upset. Um, but 
But you sat there and you saw a child in need, and so you tried helping her. And you may not have been able to cure her, but you were able to, you know, give her this moment of eye-opening, being able to think and look at the world in a different way from her current not optimal situation at all. Yes, it... Because of fucked up people. It didn't fucking save her. But it did for years. She was a, lo a young girl when you, you promised to be friends. And you obviously fucking... Like, you know, once they stopped taking dream, Like, once they started taking dreams... You weren't able to communicate with her anymore, but you fucking did that until she she basically was forced to cut communication. The, the fact that you're thinking about the fact that you're not at the status of being considered a real Archon in itself, you're working to strive there. You feel like you're being incompetent, but you want to do better. You're a fucking Archon. You're worrying that you're not doing enough for your people. You genuinely care. That's an Archon, okay? That is someone who actually cares about the place that they're supposed to protect, okay? I don't care if you're not the strongest, you're not the wisest, though you're the wisdom, you probably have a lot of knowledge in itself, but you know, you're still a child. So while you have all this knowledge, it's, it's not going to feel real yet, because, you know, you're still young. You can have knowledge thrown at you, but it doesn't mean you know how to use it, how it's going to benefit everyone immediately. That takes time. Knowledge is powerful, but it can also be very much so a detriment to yourself. I'm sorry. <laughs> when I'm upset, I will go off on random speeches, whether they're true or not. It's just how I feel. Maybe that's why I like doing this, even though I'm upset. My eyes burn. My nose is stuffy. My cat's looking at me like she wants to help, but isn't helping. <laughs> You tried! If I were a competent Archon, I wouldn't have let my most faithful follower die at the Subzeris Festival with so many regrets. It's not your fault. There's probably a reason you couldn't be straight up with us, because there's reasons for everything. Like, I, I think it's, like, the like, Venti and Zhongli, for example, I don't think they're able to really speak about what happened in Conria, or like you know, there's hesitance. Uh, mainly Celestia here. They like you. Uh, we've learned from Venti in the manga, and just you know, I think very minor things from like Venti in game about like disdain that Celestia is not what you think it is. This and that, and all of that. And no, you fucking tried. You. It's not... No one, even an Archon, should be put in a situation where their entire fucking home is being used as a dream factory, everyone's asleep, and only fucking two people seem to be able to maybe try solving this, figuring it out, and how to end things. And you know... Because how, how long have we been in this dream space? How long has she been keep trying to keep D Duniazard alive and well? Yes, she couldn't fucking keep her completely safe. But the effort and dedication was there. The effort and dedication that counts towards something. Even a competent Archon makes mistakes. Is sometimes too late. No one, not even a god, is perfect. Please don't beat yourself up over it, Nahida. It's the sage's fault, and theirs alone. I... I'm not beating myself up. All I did was to rationally observe the distance between myself and... What is a real Archon? Don't be like that, Even, Even real Archons are still allowed to be sad. They're still allowed to make sta make mistakes. It's just usually, sadly, mistakes are more grave than you know, say a normal person. But yes, we're fucking ending this shit, Dia. I'm so sorry. I feel bad in general, but oh my god, Dia. Oh, Dia. Only humans can dream. Even the Akasha is unable to create them. That means this dream belongs to a host who created it. 
host who created it. Okay. Huh? So, how should we find that person? Well, if this is someone's dream, then everything here must come from deep within their consciousness. Which means, with the power of imagination, they can change anything in this dream. Imagination? What do you mean by that? Art, you want Imagination out? means breaking through what you perceive as normal. Mm hmm Okay. Like when a server at a tavern brings a plate to you, you'd naturally assume that food is on it. However, if you're the dream's host and you become aware that you're dreaming, when you imagine gold and more on the plate, the dream will respond in kind. And the server really <laughs> Yeah, will I do this all the time in more. actual life. But right now, our host is unaware that this is a dream. Yeah, they don't know. No matter how many times So we find the host. It will always be food. Convince them they're in the dream? Yeah, realize, realize they're dreaming. dreaming. Usually, once that happens, the person will wake hey, up and the dream samsara will be I thought you wanted out, but you're letting me- You're actually chilling with me? Thank you. Artemis is not the best emotional support cat, but she has her moments. We, we do stand a cat that can actually notice that. Rico? Don't wake a sleepwalker. <laughs> Remember, everything you've achieved up to this point has all been for the sake of finding the host and ending the samsara. Oh, and we're honoring Dunya's art at the end of this. I'm going to get a nice little punch in. Be careful. Dreams are supposed to be fantastical. Romantic, Romantic and full of pleasant surprises. surprises. Need to end. Like this, Sara, need to end. You sound like a real Archon, girl. She's full of doubt, especially because of the people here. You know, the sages. But no. Without a doubt. She screams Archon. Forget the fact that I know that she's actually the Archon. Her her fucking dedication and her fucking, like... You see how mad she is? Her people are falling, and she's pissed. She, she wants this stupidity to end. This is fucking unnecessary sacrifices. For literally probably no good. We're doing this for her, too. She was such a good person, with such a simple wish. Demoralized. I feel demoralized, too, but that's why we need to stand back up and fucking punt the people who caused this in the face. And we need to hold a grand, like, actually hold a festival. We're gonna hold a festival, okay? And it's, you know, A, to honor the god who fucking deserves happiness, and to honor... Dunyazard. Yeah. Saving Dunyazard is what, is what kept us going this whole time. time. But we mustn't lose hope, traveler. Dunyazard would definitely want to see us save everyone else. So let's break the Samsara for her sake. And we're gonna make sure that we actually hold the actual Do you think festival. The would get one of their own to be the host of this stream. Feels like it would be easier to control it that way. Unlikely. They don't care about this festival either. Knowing the plan, they'd be, you know, aware they're dreaming. Yeah. Huh. That's true. Plus, the sages probably weren't counting on there being other factors beyond their control. Like Nahida and us. Mm-hmm. So, who do you think the host of the dream is? Oh, that would make sense. Ferris, the Knight of Flowers... I don't think it's... Him, but festival, right? Pretty core character. I was thinking more. <laughs> Nilu, we haven't talked to her. We've only ever seen, you know, when the grand, like the sage, done that. So I think it's Nilu. I, I genuinely think it's Nilu. I could be wrong. I, I, I don't know. I just don't think it's gonna be uh, Ferris here. 
Oh, crying fucks with me, by the way. It, uh, usually I end up with a red face or a headache. Seems like today's chosen headache. I've been so predisposed, uh, predisposed to those recently. Oh. How lively. I, I was hoping not to have to cry today. I was really hoping we would save her. But you know, now I feel like my paranoia <laughs> before my stream got cut was very valid and very real. Please help me. Hmm, you're back. You left in a hurry last time. I is everything okay? Everything's fine. Just um it's a little hard to explain. Uh Would you mind taking part in a little experiment with us? An experiment? That came out of nowhere. I'm listening, though. What do you need me to do? Could you... make a wish? Make a wish. Imagine your wish coming true before your very eyes. You want me to make a wish? Is that a new sub festival tradition or something? Ah, just try it. Less questions, more wishing! Okay. Okay. My wish. My wish. Okay. I'm a little nervous saying this out loud, but I want Miss Dunyarzad to be happy. Oh. Oh. I noticed earlier that she looked a bit down, and she wasn't really talking to anyone. She just doesn't seem like herself. She's always so gentle and kind, and all the kids love her. I've also wondered if the reason she asked me to be Ferris Knight of Flowers is because I'm special to her, or something. So, you have a crush on Dunyarzad? Uh, <laughs> oh, is it that obvious? After what I just said, I guess it is. When she placed the hat of the Knight of Flowers onto my head, she said to me, I want everyone to have a happy sub festival. What she didn't realize was that I'm not that interested in how everyone else feels. In that moment, I just wanted to be her knight of flowers for the rest of my life. Fifty years, a hundred years, I'll serve her till the end of time. I'm upset. Okay, yeah, that was a bit much. Felt like the right moment to get it off my chest, but <clears throat> that was pretty embarrassing. Okay, I'm ready to make my wish. I would like Miss Dunyarzad to appear in front of me right now with a smile on her face. Here goes. Please come true. I'm gonna open my eyes. Oh, oh you're... What? Farky? Uh, sorry, but only one portion of Yalda candies per person. Back home you go. <laughs> uh, nice try, you two. Anyway, never mind. I don't need to see her appear right in front of me. As long as she's happy. <laughs> uh, I'm upset. Isn't the host Can, of this dream no. After all. No, and, he, and, and, and since he seems to still be here and conscious and passionate, when he wakes up, she's gone. We just got shown an example of like someone's life who's been fucked by the I fucking academy. That, she... that she's gone. That she's gone. Lady, yep, Dia. Dia. That sounds like Dia. No. Oh. No, no, I'm getting them. Nope, nope, but fuck this. This is like the delusions all over again. Step the fuck back. My cat's really trying to distract me. She's telling me to take a break, and I say fuck that. Nope, I'm, I, 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 I think this is probably going to lead on a cliffhanger of sorts, but I don't care. I'm going to get them. I'm going to teach them a lesson. Artemis, were you trying to tell me something? Hmm? You want to speak to the camera? No. It's you. Great timing. Please take... Hey, this is my job. 
The homie Yanni's paying me, not you. You... Ugh, fine, all right. Knock yourself out. Why are you so worked up anyway? It's not oh. like I don't trust your fighting skills. No, you... you you'll... Anyway, watch yourself. You'll understand why we're so fucking worked up, and I, I hate that you have to go through that. I hate that the most. It sucks so that we fucking, you know, we're just too late. But I also hate that the people You're are gonna going wake up down. and find out that she's gone. That's close enough. One like the farce. Time to go. The wind knows Can you guys group up? I know you're cowards. And all that. One with nature. Rain outlines your face. Yeah. Artemis, that's such a dumb Tyler, pose. Were you just taking your anger out on those guys? <sighs> you and Nahida both. Ten years old wouldn't want to see you two like this. I know, it's just fucking hard. Oh, and speaking of her, I might just remembered something. Remember how during the first Sub Zero's festival, before the Samsara started, we came here with. Yeah, what did she want to pick up? Because she wanted to pick something up? What did she want to pick up? We never found she out. Said it was because she had forgotten something. Yeah. Okay, I remember that. So Paimon's memory is working so far. Anyway, Paimon also remembers that she is staying somewhere around here. She pointed it out to us the night before the Sub Zero's festival. Yeah. Even if it's only a tiny clue, it'll probably still help us more than this needle in a haystack search. This is the place! It's rude to enter other people's spaces without permission, but I'm not in a good mood. I don't need the family problem shit to come in. Hey, the Lest I, uh, pull the traveler. Uh, I'm joking. It's not a funny joke. Don't worry, I know. Though, with context, some people might <laughs> take the idea of a, a slap, not that bad. Hey. Should we open it? I'm sad. I'm prepared for, like, something triggering. An elegantly written note. Okay, hang on. We're reading this, okay? Even though my nose hates me. I can literally barely breathe through it. Which sucks. Okay. After almost 16 days, I was finally able to get these notes written before the Subsaris Festival. Once the festival ends, you and Paimon will probably continue your journey immediately. Fuck off. So I was hoping that I'd be able to give this to you before that. This is a compilation of folk legends concerning Lesser Lord Kusanali, created from a series of interviews that I conducted conducted in, a, in succession and wrote down. I interviewed so many people, but I'm afraid that there are very few who know much about her. Still, I hope that this will be of use to you in your search for her. <laughs> Gundarvaville's water supply was once contaminated, forcing everyone to go very far out of, to get water. But one day, people suddenly found that the water was drinkable again. And some said that a green light was seen near the water's source from the previous night. Everyone believes that this was the divine power of Lesser Lord Kusanali at work. This sounds quite possible. The decontamination of water sources via natural means probably takes ages. Did Lesser Lord Kusanali appear in Gandharvaville then? After Mama passed away, I was super afraid of the dark and couldn't sleep. But f from one day on... I could hear a voice that would chat with me until I fell asleep. A nice lady told me that Lesser Lord Cusinelli must have been watching over me. Poor child, I hope the Subzeris Festival makes her a little happier. This is quite similar to something I experienced back then, as well. She is indeed a gentle god. 
Oh, I need glasses to read through these tears. <laughs> it's amazing I can even read without them, but it's fine. Uh, give me a minute. Woo. Okay. Th there was this one time when I'd had a wee bit too much to drink and couldn't find my way home to save my life. Then when I, re I turned the corner, I could have sworn I saw Lester Lord Kusanali. She was very tall and had the most muscular arms and she caught me when I slipped the fell this morning. I found myself sleeping under a tree. I reckon that must have been her looking out for me. Hmm. I'm not sure this one much has val value reference. That was probably just a tree raid. These folk uh, folk records appended with Dunia's art references and opinions leave every page densely packed. Okay, I need blue toes again. Help. Okay. <sighs> Um, uh, okay. So, I was already stabbed. I legit already, like, had dripping tears off my face. And you did this to me! Hoyoverse, I love you, but I also hate you. <laughs> I, I love you, yet hate you. Like she was always thinking of us even while we were away, we were away. Mm -hmm. it had her health problems to worry about she still fucking did this for us she must have wanted to give this to us as a gift on the mm -hmm. that's why she was like oh hey right? can I can I forgot something I need to go grab it this is what she was gonna give us we, hadn't found this book, we never would have we known never She wanted the Supsaris Festival to actually go. She wanted it to be spectacular. We're gonna get out of the stream, punt a few sages, and and hold a wonderful thing. Not only in fucking honor of. In honor of, Kusanali. I'm sorry, the other names. I I just haven't heard it enough. Um, but also for Junius Art. Fucking shit. We're literally gonna say. It literally only happened because of her. I, I need to get rid of this notification on my phone that's annoying me. Anyways. This is what I call a No. Time to go. Who would have thought, you know? <laughs> just do an act two. Just just uh <sighs> My cat's hitting me with her tail trying to get me to look at her. Is it harsh that I'm not looking? Oh. Sorry, Dia, by the way, for yelling at you and telling you to leave and all that shit. We shouldn't have taken our anger out on you either. Especially because you'll somehow try beating yourself over this. Too. It's Dunyarzad's puppet. Traveler. You must be exhausted. <laughs> On every level. <laughs> Ah, uh, stop. Oh, stop, please. Flashbacks are my weakness. <laughs> okay, I'm, uh... Hey, you know, free tears, free tears. Tear ran is running down my hand because it fell off my face. She waved us off. when she talked about Nilu's dance of Subzeru's. Nilu! There will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. That's what she... That was what the real Dunyarzad said, wasn't it? Oh, Traveler, I feel Explaining... you. 
Yeah, come on, come on. He's her. Yes, traveler. What is it? Oh, so she's still just. Uh, but just now. Not leave behind any regrets. What? Let's go. Mm -hmm. To watch the dance of Subseru. <sighs> Woo! Woo! Oh, I'm gonna have a real cry about this later. <laughs> I've avoided, uh, you know, all the spoilers. Obviously. I still would have been devastated, but definitely not this bad, I don't think. I hope. I, I'm upset. Please don't be another message about... Uh. Yeah, it's the same message, Kaelin. I, I heard about that. Uh, I'm not happy. Uh, in general. Nilu, Nilu, girl. Oh, also, can I punch that Grand Sage? I see him. I see him again. He's a pup. Well, he's a dream puppet. Can I punch him? It won't do anything to him, probably. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How? How did things turn out like this? We're standing in now, yeah. We're not waiting for you to fucking talk, right? Or, or, or did we? No. Hello. Uh, traveler? Uh, you don't have to get involved. He's a sage. Oh no, we're Virginia. pissed. I am through with I this. Drag you into this. Traveler. Traveler? What the heck are you doing? If you get arrested by the academia, that's another day gone to waste. Wait, they're not reacting. Have they been scared? They're puppets. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. If this is the sage's plan, they would have put themselves through this. Nilo. So Nilo, sorry. Mm hmm. What is this? What happened to the Grand Sage and his entourage? Yeah, Nilu. Like I said. Mhm. Mm they symbolize the goddess of flowers. It's just a shame that all the real body stars went extinct after her death. Yes. <sighs> the greater lord brought forth new body stars in memory of the goddess of flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful yeah, see? purple. Mhm. Mm so I'm right, right? We're one step closer to um Teaching these assholes a lesson? Ah, that beautiful shade of purple. Aren't these flowers real Padisaras? Just like the ones from the legend? I didn't even notice. Ten years odd, did you find these? But didn't you just say all the real flowers went extinct after the goddess of flowers passed away? Mm-hmm. And she's the one who wanted to see them. She wanted to yeah. dance on stage with them. What's going on here? Oh no. She, she's gonna be upset about this too. Everyone's gonna. I'm sorry. <laughs> Imagine the Grand Sage and his entourage are not here in front of you. You guys are acting weird. But okay. I, I'm gonna hate I'll this. Try. Can I not be the bearer of news? Can this just happen? Off <laughs> it's not going to. I don't expect it to, but I would love it. She was the one who was about the festival. It makes sense. Purple body Saras don't exist in the real world anymore. But in Nilu's subconscious, they can appear as decorations on the stage. Mm-hmm. It's just like the example Nahida told us. People assumed there will be food on a plate, and Nilu assumed there would be real body Saras in the flower pots. So when you saw the flowers, you instantly knew it was Nilu? But if we want to end the samsara, we need the host to become aware that they're dreaming. How should we make Nilu realize that? Am I dreaming? Huh? <laughs> so I'm right. Is this lesser Lord Kusanali responding to I the wish. celebration of the substance? It wouldn't have been violent and it wouldn't have ended in death. <laughs> you think this is 
a dream. As far as you know, people in Sumeru don't dream, right? Yeah, but have you heard the tale of the first sage? To prevent a calamity, he went on a journey to find the Dendro Archon. Ooh, sounds familiar. Dendrozad told us a story like that when we first arrived in Sumeru City. So, it was about the first sage, huh? Yep, but in the part you heard, he hadn't become the first sage yet. There's more to the story. His piety and wisdom were acknowledged by the Dendro Archon, and she finally gave her blessing to him. All kinds of spectacular scenes appeared in front of the first sage, as if all the knowledge in the world was being painted onto a canvas right before him. He was captivated. After who knows how long, he mastered all the knowledge he could comprehend. Afterward, he said to the Dendro Archon, I miss my parents, my wife, and my children. I've been away from home for far too long. They must be worried. The Dendro Archon smiled. The next second, the sage found himself lying in his bed, as if he had just woken up from a dream. His wife, lying next to him, said, You're off to search for the Dendro Archon today, aren't you? Have a safe journey, my love. In the end, the first sage took care of many disasters in Sumeru City, and founded the Academia. It sounds kind of almost like this, in a way. What a happy ending. I wish this one had a so, happy ending. the first sage was dreaming ever since the beginning of the story? He never went on his journey? He was looking for the Dendro Archon, and well... Yes. But his faith and determination were she came to, to him. the Dendro Archon. Mm -hmm. So she blessed him in the form of a dream. Paimon understands where you're coming from now. That's a really interesting connection. But we really gotta wake up soon, like the sage in the story! I see. Well, it just so happens that today's sub -Zero's festival is almost over, too. Since we're in a dream, let's make this final dance of sub -Zero's as beautiful as we can. this to our god the dance of sub -Zerus. I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Milo's dance. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, come on! Uh, no. Okay, I have theories. Longer she gets to see it. Now, if this act ends without me getting to hit at least one of these sages in the face, I'm gonna have issues. I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be pissed. That scene was beautiful, by the way. I just have to <laughs> make sure I didn't cry. Do we not Do remember it? Remember going to sleep last night? Paimon thinks it was after the Subzero's festival. Come on, guys. The Subzero's festival! Yeah, come on! 
Oh my god, we're good? We're, we remember everything? Usual spot. spot. You know the spot, Paimon. Damn. Keep up. Come on. Us wanting a miracle. Me being one of them. <gasps> I cried for nothing. Well, not for nothing. They genuinely made me upset. That's Gusanali. We kept her alive. Oh my god, she saved her. I'm so glad. <laughs> I was getting pissed. Oh, a traveler, Paimon. I have something amazing to tell you. I just had a dream. And I saw Nilu performing the dance of Subzerus. Okay. We're talking to Catherine. You're actually Nishida, aren't you? I felt like Catherine was acting weird when we met at the Subzerus Festival. Well, this time she didn't even try hiding the voice. Did you save her? It's a really long story. We shouldn't disturb her. Her consciousness is still weakened. Let's chat somewhere else. Hmm. Ah, oh, that was probably like last stitch effort. See, look at you. You fucking last second was like, no, I gotta try something. And you did it. You did it. Hell yeah. Look at this fucking righteous god go. I do have a second, like a separate account where I'm gonna make sure I manage to get her when, it, when she becomes playable and all that. Um... So, you know, even if I somehow sadly fuck up and don't get her here because, you know, I, I was bullied for Tainari, no one could stop me. Um, but, you know. Oh, yeah. There we go. I was like, what's that about? Whew. Ah, the music. We're ready for a battle, aren't we? Okay, cool. No one's gonna have to be devastated over Dunizard's death. We're just have to gonna gonna have to watch over her extremely. <laughs> that that's about it. We're good. We're good. Mm -hmm. Among the countless dreams, I found one that was growing fainter and fainter. This proved my suspicion. Okay. Once Dunyarzad could no longer bear the Akasha harvesting her dreams, her consciousness... And so it was sent dream. outside, right? But this yeah. also meant it escaped the Akasha's control. So literally, if you hadn't have gone, she would have died. Consciousness can't last for very long, though. It will return to its original dream. Mm -hmm. Where both will gradually fade until they completely disappear. I used all the power I had to keep her dying dream alive as long as possible. But it still wouldn't have lasted for much longer if it hadn't been for you two breaking the samsara. So we just barely managed to fucking save her. So it looks like we did manage Ooh. to save Dunyarzad in the end. Truly a miracle. Huh? Why are you two smiling so happily? I thought you'd be so moved that you'd start crying. 
Oh, yes. I could sp spill happy tears if my sad and angry tears <laughs> didn't come first. Both are fine. Everyone reacts differently. Mm hmm No, some people would have been moved oh, to tears. Right. You two must have a lot of other questions for me, right? After all, you saved my faithful believer. As your reward, I will answer any and all questions. Okay. At the Avidia Forest, there was this incense that made the traveler fall unconscious. And dream of a huge tree in a red sky. You also heard someone's voice, right? Mm hmm. It's world, world, forget me. And forget mm -hmm. me. Yeah, so you do know. We've been wanting to ask you what that was about, and if the red sky was related to Conria. Hmm. It seems like the traveler established a connection to Ermensol. That was a message left by Greater Lord Ruka Devata's residual consciousness mm. in Vernonsol. Perhaps her last okay. memory before she died. One of your... Hmm. probably know. Greater Lord mm -hmm. Ruka Devata disappeared Conria. after the disaster in Conria. The timings of these events do line up, so your suspicions are reasonable. A message from Greater Lord Ruka Devata? We thought it was from the Scarlet King. The Scarlet King? That god who died even longer ago? Yeah, apparently. Some present-day desert dwellers still worship him. You probably just heard some of their conspiracies. Okay, so what does the message mean? Yeah, what ha what happened there? I still haven't managed to decipher. You're trying it, so that's the good. The Akasha isn't currently capable of doing that. Greater Lord Ruka Devata's residual consciousness in Ermensol seems to be contaminated with something that has a very dangerous aura to it. Many devoted scholars go mad as soon as they connect their consciousness. I've warned the academia about this many times. Still keep falling victim. Still keep falling victim to it. Are they just ignoring you? That would make sense. That's why I've That's kept, why trying, I kept to trying to decipher it. Decipher it. So the tree in the vision was Ermensol? Oh, Tainari also said that Ermensol is sick! Is it because of the contaminated consciousness? But even if you can't figure out what that vision was all about, it seems like our search for you was all in vain. The Traveler wasn't affected after coming in contact with that consciousness. I've never seen anyone like that. With you here, hmm. we may have a chance at deciphering it. No. We must decipher its secrets. I've already eliminated all other factors that might affect Ermensol. Only, only one left. Okay. This puzzle has life and death at stake. It could determine Ermensol's fate, as well as to Vats. I'm okay with the Catherine thing. There has never been any big problems with the Academia's governance of Sumeru. This is the first time I've seen them step out of line. I wonder what caused them to go down this path, and what, what do they hope to achieve? achieve? Yeah, what Even do they hope the to achieve from this nonsense? Anything strange? If the traveler hadn't broken the Subzeru Samsara, the situation could have become dire. I tried to do some investigating in the Akasha, but I couldn't find anything suspicious. And all the people of interest seemed to purposely avoid wearing mm -hmm. their Akasha Very terminals. suspicious. Very. I deliberately trying to hide something. Oh, that reminds Paimon. In Gundarvaville, there was a mm -hmm. sage who had invited Kainari to join some kind of project. Could it be related? Regardless, I need to first investigate the sage's motives, mm -hmm. make things right, and punish them if needed. Oh! But I'll have to be discreet, or they'll see me coming. Oh, don't worry, if you need us for helping you with that, oh, I'm signing up. Free of charge, you owe me literally nothing. Stops you from having dreams? Yeah, it's been such a long time. No one's noticed something's up? It's not that no one noticed. It's more like no one cared. Ultimately, it's all rooted in the sage's misdirection. Misdirection? The sage has convinced everyone to believe that being unable to dream is a sign of rationality and wisdom. Not dreaming is a badge of honor in Sumeru. Even if the truth is that their dreams are being reaped by the Akasha. But they're so weird. in place, 
The sages can maximize their use of the Akasha to facilitate their research. Besides, Greater Lord Rukadevata must have created the Akasha in the hopes that it could be used to its full potential. That's why I've never come out strongly against this. <sighs> well, we don't know exactly what it is. The perspective hmm. advocated by the sages drowned out any voices of doubt. By now, even those who never use Akasha terminals find it too shameful and embarrassing to talk about their dreams. Got it! I hope my answers were satisfactory, seekers of knowledge. <sighs> to be honest, maintaining Dunyarzad's fading dream took a lot of mental energy. I think I may need to rest for a while. Oh, and if you, you, you deserve it. too much about the sage's activities for now. The Akasha won't be able to conduct another project on the scale of the Subzeru Samsara in the immediate future. Go and get some sleep. Leave everything to us. <laughs> what a relief. <sighs> this is truly the most exhausting birthday I've ever had. Eh. We managed to save someone, so Traveler? worth it. Oh, you straight just took over her body. <laughs> Maybe I should have asked why you were looking like Catherine. Sleepwalking, yeah! It's hard to miss just kick me in the gut. Maintenance personal? I better go. Thank you. It... Maybe I should have asked the question. Recruitment? Recruitment? I'm intrigued. I thought it was over, but it's not, thank god. I, I'm mentally a warn, but I, I'm here for this. Oh, it's... It is over, but it unlocked this. Okay, um, hmm. Hang on, let's quickly unlock this. The, 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 this, that will be maybe, uh, no, okay. That will be next stream, probably. Um, but I'm gonna do, um, The the one the the event thing. I'm actually gonna you know continue that first. We were literally just talking to the Catherine and <laughs> Sumeru, so it's uh, kind of funny that that's what you want us to do. But uh, how do I get over there? I don't remember. I am but an idiot. Could just end stream now. I don't know. Would would you guys feel bad if I did the event off screen? Like I'm gonna do Tanari's thing and all that. But I don't know. Oh, I'll debate. I, I think odds are is I'll try streaming it, but Hmm. Oh, wait. Do you think this is just how we do, uh, requests and, uh, bounties? It is. 450 for one level. Oh, yikes. Butter chicken. That sounds delicious. What's this? The boon of the elder tree. A talisman that can help collect wood. Actually helpful. That's pretty. Uh, okay. That's better. I love this one. I When I someday get this, I'm using it. Uh, okay. 
And then Dendroclus Resonant Stone, that's gonna be handy. And then Treasure Compass, gonna love that. And then Wings! World Exploration. I haven't explored enough yet. I want to be able to do these uh, for my weekly. So, I'm uh, yeah, I'm going to explore more. That's why I can do off-camera. But I think to explore more, I'm going to actually um, jump into the start of... Uh, the Kale event. I'm calling it the Kale event because we get a free Kale. Okay? <laughs> no other meaning than that. It's literally purely that. Um, okay. Yes. Grave Innocence. Okay. Gundaravaville, let's go. Ah. An emotional sock, uh, like sucker punch. But we lived! We lived! That was amazing. Um, you know, some people may say there wasn't enough fighting. Hey, it made me fucking ball like a baby, okay? It made me upset to another level. So I think it actually was quite spectacular. <laughs> so Tanger's supposed to be here in okay. Gundarvaville looking for inspiration. But how do we find him? Should we yell his name at the top of our lungs? We we would have let the forest Sorry. rangers. What's your name? Huh? What are you Ooh, doing here all that's Kale. Do you live in Gondarvaville? <laughs> Regardless, don't worry. As a trainee forest ranger, I'll do everything I can to help you. <sighs> Hi, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm Rozzy. Don't mind me. I know the way back to Gondarvaville. When people say "don't mind me," what they really mean is "don't worry about me." That's all the more reason not to leave you alone. <laughs> hey, don't cry. What's wrong? Take your time. You can tell me all about it. Huh, that voice sounds familiar. I once heard it somewhere before. Yeah, I, I wonder why. <laughs> Master Tainari patrol the forest. What brings you here? We're here on an errand. We heard your voice, so we thought we'd come ask you for help. Yeah, you need help with anything? You seem kind of busy, though. <sighs> um, I'll be fine. Y you go help them first, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm okay, really. Uh, the sand got into my eyes, that's all. What a well mannered child. Sands. There is not a lot of sand in a forest. You keep saying you're okay because you don't want us to know what you're upset about, right? Maybe. That's exactly why you have to get it off your chest. Here's a trick. If you're keeping a secret that bothers you, you can try telling it all to a tree hollow. Uh, huh? a tree hollow? Yeah, a tree hollow. Do you know Tanja's stories? The R and R living in the forest. Mm -hmm. There we go. Every word children say. Maybe there really are R and R living in the tree hollows that will listen to you. You like the R and R stories too? Of course, I love them. Oh, people who like R and R are the best. <laughs> okay, I'll try telling my secret to a tree hollow. Thanks, Miss Forest Ranger. You know everything. She tries, and it's great. <laughs> Aw, you're just exaggerating. Anyway, I'm trying to be like my friend, who mm -hmm. always does her best to cheer people up when they seem sad. So, how are you doing? 
feeling any better now? The forest is very dangerous, so how about we stick together? Sure. Wow. Chloe's so good with kids. <sighs> well, helping children who are lost in the rainforest is all part of her forest ranger's duty. So, what was it you wanted help with? You're not lost too, are you? Okay, so you're looking for a children's author from Port Olmos called Tanja. And he's here in Gundarverville. I'm looking for inspiration. Uh, wait, when you say Tanja, do you mean THE Tanja? That's right, Uncle Tanja! So he's in the area? Looking for inspiration for a new story as we speak? This is amazing! <laughs> Can you wait for me for a second? I'll run Razzie back to Gandarverville and then I'll be right back. I've always been curious what the man behind those incredible stories is like in person. <sighs> Tanja's just a normal guy. Even so, he must be more creative than most people. <sighs> wait, hold on. Razzie. Do you mean you've met Tanja before? Mm-hmm. He's my dad. Your dad? Oh, so, yeah, no, they did say, from what I remember, he came here with... Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah! Hi, Munzies! That guy in a car across mm -hmm. told us that Tanja brought his son along with him. So he meant Razzie! Why are you here on your own, though? Did you and Tanja get separated? I... <laughs> we had an argument. I was upset, so I ran off here by myself. Oh, in that case, we should take you back to Gundarverville first. Then we'll look for your dad and tell him where you are. No, I'm, I'm good. Thanks for your advice, Kale. I'm not so upset anymore. Come with me. I'll take you to him. Yay! Thanks, Razzy! I'm a, oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm actually <laughs> going to meet Pete Tundra. Ah, uh, this must suck for him. He's like, can you stop? See one Kale. Hmm, so Tanja headed this way. Hmm, I know this place pretty well. Hmm, follow me. Okay. When in the party and not on the field, Kale's energy recharge is increased by 20%. Th these aren't the actual artifacts for her, because I, I jokingly put- you you'll know why I jokingly put the Viridescent set on. Right? It almost looks like I put the right set on her, but then he realizes this is the Viridescent, which does swirl, swirl damage. Don't worry, I actually started, uh, doing some domains of the new set. They're just- You know, th the stats aren't always great. But yeah, that, that these aren't her real stats, which is why I'm not using her right now. But that would go up to 137, I see. If we were talking about these stats and all of that. Wait, what? I, I, I didn't even see where it was telling me about that, so I was confused. Okay. Can I teleport over there? I don't want to save some time. <sighs> Mild exhaustion has set in. So Into the wind. And I feel like I'm about to receive some unpleasant news. So I do not mean to drag. But let's uh see what happens Rosie! here. Where are you, Rosie? Ah, he went looking for his son. I see. Oh, I really don't want to watch these videos oh, right now. Rosie. Okay. Thank goodness I finally found you. What would I do without you, my son? Were you a danger? Did the wild beast scare you? Did the stars guide your way? I'm okay. All thanks to their help. Thank you. Thank you all. I dare say that even the most cold-hearted spino crocodile would be The crocodiles are cute. I don't know what you're talking about. My responsibility as a trainee forest ranger. I'm the one who should thank you for creating so many wonderful stories for the children of Sumeru. 
I... Uh, I love them too. Really? I didn't know anyone read my stories apart from young children. That must mean you're still in touch with your inner child. <laughs> Okay, then. I have the inspiration for my next story. It shall be about an Aranara granny who's a child at heart. Huh? A granny? Whoa. It's, it's an honor to become the source of your inspiration. Whoa. Kale looks like she's about to pass out. Uh, hey, Kale. Are you okay? Uh, I I'm okay. Sorry. I just got a little too excited. Are you two story lovers as well? Yes. Yes! The moment I saw you, the image of an Aura Giant and an Aura Finch traveling together popped into my mind. Ah! Excellent! Yeah, I probably didn't hear him. I'm being very distracted by the situation. Need of imagination ...and canter through the lush meadows of lyrical expression. You have the potential to become a celebrated storyteller too, you know. Um, seems like Kanja has a slightly exaggerated view of what it means to be a children's author. Also, Pana's not a finch. That's nothing to get excited about. A car crafts. A car crafts. Did he forget? Oh, oh, right, right. I remember now. That small boat once sailed into the sea of my memory, but before long it floated away over the horizon, never to be seen again. Perhaps for the best. After all, a wild tempest was a- Um, what? What should we do? Uh, do you think we should get Tainari to take a look at him? Dad's saying he forgot about helping the people at Akara Crafts learn more about Aranara, because right now he has something more important to do. Glad we have someone to translate. All the proof you needed that this kid is definitely Tanger's son. Wait, no, this isn't the time for all that. Tanger, your help is pretty vital to the toy makers. You gotta do something. But the garden that blooms before my eyes is of greater importance. I, Tanger, have found evidence of R and R activity right here in the Avidia Forest. Conclusively proving that Aranara not only exists in stories, but in real life, too. If I manage to document the first real-life Aranara sighting, the petty problems that perplex Akara Crafts will be untangled in no time. Meanwhile, I may well be able to leverage this to assume leadership of the Academia. To doubt that one. You're a little delusional on that one. Just a bit. <laughs> myself, but I think you need to have a bunch of them approved by the review board before entering the academia. You also need a detailed and objective experiment record. Uh, anyway, Tanja, what did you mean by evidence of r and &R activity? The hook's what's important in a story. The great storyteller Tanja never gives his audience the bait right away. Come with me! Wait, not that way. Kale? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. But that way leads us deeper into the Avidia Forest. I I'm just concerned for Tanja's safety. And I think I'm starting to understand why Razi and Tanja were fighting. I need this to be over. I kind of have a situation to deal with. Woo. Hmm. Just as I expected, the promise of one of my stories has kept you hot on my heels. But this is just an ordinary tree hollow. Heimat's not seeing any evidence of Aranara. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. Look with your heart and you too will understand. Um, Heimat's not sure what look with your heart means, but anyway, let's start by investigating the area around this tree hollow. Hey, look! There's a note here! 
Could this be the evidence that Tanja was talking about? Uh, the handwriting's so hard to read. It's too hard. I can't remember the names of all these mushrooms. Um, do I and Nora need to learn about mushroom classification? that says, this tree hollow is my castle. That sounds more like something an R&R &R from the stories would say. There's another one here! Hmm. If only I were a clever r, &R A clever r, &R -A. Is the emphasis on clever or r, &R -A? Let's talk to Tanjir. So hopefully my urge to slap a bitch dies. It's not gonna die. So. Guys, right now I'm gonna use this last part of the stream as a means to not punch a hole in something. Like my wall or my poor glass door. How for my wall and door's safety. Not mine. Breaking discovery. Exciting, isn't it? The crude handwriting may look like a child's, but don't forget, we're in the middle of a rainforest. I doubt that a child would be able to reach this deep into the forest, and I doubt even more that they would think of this lonely tree hollow as some sort of impenetrable castle. I boldly hypothesize that this tree hollow is, in fact, the Aranara's Academia. The notes we saw were written by the Aranara themselves. There is no doubt in my mind about that. An Aranara that wasn't so bright left a note here wishing to become a clever Aranara. Oh, I shall craft a new story for them and call it the Aranara in the Tree Hollow. How's that? Don't the very words just conjure up images of Aranara in your mind's eye? Uh, nope. Well, many an adventurer knows how to take to the skies with their easily visible wind gliders, yet they do not possess the invisible wings of imagination, making it hard for them to keep up with my train of thought. How about you, Miss Forest Ranger? Do you soar into the atmosphere on the wings of imagination? Huh? Me? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I do, but maybe not? Uh, anyway... It has nothing to do with me, so... Hmm... Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that... Witnessing I- I can't with it, honestly. <laughs> uh, I'm- I'm a little done with it. Overwhelming. No. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, no, no, you're right, yes. Overwhelming. That's the word. For now, I've decided to stay here with Razi until we witness the legendary moment when the Aranara appear in this hollow. Don't worry, I won't let the Akara Crafts toy makers down. When a real Aranara appears, their little troubles will be resolved in an instant. He seems pretty stubborn. Looks like we'll have to stay here and wait a little longer. No, I think we should return to our camp first. Tanja, in r and and the Three Little Fungus, it says that r and are very sensitive creatures. I don't think they'll show up if we stay here. Oh? Was that in the story? Ah, yes, I remember now. Miss Forest Ranger, you sure know your stuff. In that case, let's go back to camp and call it a day. We'll continue our search for evidence first thing in the morning. Okay, go to the encampment at night. Flower. 
Time to go. This is the camp. Uh. Okay, here, here. Let's, uh... Yeah, okay. Cool. Cutscene started. We're good. Okay, yeah. What's what's wrong? <laughs> okay, so Kale's gone. Oh, Paimon's been worried about Kale since last night. Even though she kept telling us she was okay after we saw the evidence of Arnora activity, she's been acting kind of strange. Um... Anyway, let's go find her! Hey, look! Aren't these Kale's footprints? But why are they headed towards the tree hollow? Okay, let's find out. Maybe they saw something? So Kale came back here alone? Practicing her writing and everything. Ah, he's okay, Kale. <laughs> if I'd known, I would have just told the tree hollow instead of writing it down. There must be another way to practice my handwriting. It's okay. <laughs> I created a whole new problem for myself. Hmm. Dress up as an R and R. No, Dress no, don't do that. Don't do that. Aww. Should be writing something that an R and R would never say, so that Tanja won't mistake me for one of them. Oh, but what should I write? Oh, what should I write? Oh, I've got it. There's no way Tanja could see this as the work of an R and R. So the evidence of R and R activity we saw during the day <laughs> was evidence of Kale's activity. Yeah. Of Right. 
Mm -hmm. He could tell any secret to a tree hollow. Must be because that's what she does. And now she even writes it down. Yeah, you're right. We'll keep her secret for her. Oh, looks like she's almost done writing. Let's head back. Oh, oh my god, wow, mysterious, a new note. Aha! There's a new note just as I expected. Yes, yes! It's the same handwriting. Let's see what it's... Ooh, what can it be? Uh... I want to visit Mondstadt during the Ludi Harpastum again? No, that's impossible. This must be some kind of mistake. How could an Aranara go to Mondstadt for the Ludi Harpastum? Even I would never write that into a fairy tale. So, in other words, the notes can't have been left by an Aranara. Uh, yeah. If you ask me, they were probably left by a passing merchant from Mondstadt or something. Definitely not an Aranara. No. No, I refuse to believe it. I can't. What do you mean you can't? It's not like it'll take you a huge amount of effort. You've written so many stories beloved by the children. I'm sure you can help create There's probably a secret behind this. No! I can't do it. I thought okay. that if I could find an r and &R, I'd be able to help Akara Crafts. But it was someone from Mondstadt all along. But you've managed to write all those stories without ever having seen a real r and &R, right? What makes this so different? Was it his kids' stories? And he just wrote them uh, into things? Uh, is that what it is? Did you get stuff from, like, the kids and your son, maybe? Uh, Rossi, you tell them. Is that the truth? Really? Uh, can I? Yes, it's fine. Tell them. I know this is the moment you've been waiting for. Okay. Kale, Traveler, Paimon. Do you remember when I said that yep. there was a secret I didn't want to I do to remember that. Anyone? Even Artemis remembers that. I didn't want to tell anyone the secret. But it made me feel very sad and also turned Dad into a completely different person. So... I think I should tell you. Dad isn't the one who came up with all those Aranara stories. Uh, what? Hold on. So if Uncle Tanja wasn't the author, then... Who was it? Uh, wait. You don't mean... It was me. Yeah. Dad's Hold been it. telling stories in Port Ormos for as long as I can remember. I always got to listen to all his new stories. Every night, Dad would give me a Zaytun peach for dinner, and I'd eat it while he told his stories. The Zaytun peaches were delicious, but Dad's stories were really bad. He always uses sentences that are really hard to understand, and... Strange, uh... Metaphors, I think they're called? But Dad kept on going, telling his stories again and again. Oh, one time, he even borrowed a camera from Lord Sangema Bay's shop and got me to take pictures of him in action. Dad showed me the picture and said that it shall become the precious record of Sumero's best storyteller early in his career. Even though I only had Zaytun peaches to eat and not so great stories to listen to, I was happy. Then one day, I tried telling Dad a story I came up with. Dad seemed really excited from the very beginning. He, he looked really happy. He lifted me up high into the air and told me to continue. He lifted me up so high that I was looking down at him. As I continued with my story, I saw his expression mm. gradually change. So you kept going? And when I got to my favorite part, Dad started crying. Mm -hmm. I guess he must have I been see. moved by my story. When Dad put me back down, I looked up at him again, but now he had a scary look in his eyes. You remember it so vividly. It's not only Rossi. I, too, remember every detail of what happened that day. 
after that, I gradually grew in fame and started making money. I became Sumeru's best storyteller, just as I always dreamed. Finally, we could afford more than just Zaytu peaches for dinner. I thought it would make Razi happy. I was really happy at first, but then everyone started calling me Tanja's son instead of Razi. I kind of guessed why, but I also didn't want to believe it. Dad got busier with things that had nothing to do with storytelling, like that request from Akara Crafts. So I made up my mind that this time, I just want to be good old Rosie so that Dad will become good old Dad again. Instead of Dad the way he is now, starting every story with, dedicated to my dearest Rosie. I prefer my dad how he used to be, stumbling over words and not knowing how to end the story. That's why I decided to keep how I imagine R&R &R to look like a mm -hmm. Wait, Paimon gets it now. To sum up, all of Uncle Tanger's fairy tales were actually stories Yes, but it was, you know, and obviously published under his name. Yes. That's why I tried looking for possible evidence of Aranara. But it turned out that I was just being a clown, as always. And not even a funny one. I'm a terrible father. I'm sorry, Rassi. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> and I owe you all an apology, too, for wasting your time. Rossi's the only one who can help Akara Crafts. If you can manage to persuade him, that is. Right now, I think I just want to find a tree hollow and be quiet for a while. Um, are we gonna let this happen? You want me to help a car crash with their carving? Yeah, only if you want, though. They're not gonna force you. Well, I did mention what the R and R looked like in my stories, but to make a carving, we might need more details. Kale, Traveler, and Paimon. I might need your help on this one. I've never really left Port Ormos before. This is my first time in Gandarvaville. Well, it's my first time being so far mm -hmm. from home. New environment. Sumeru is so much bigger than I thought. Seeing new places has given me loads of new ideas for my R and R stories. So I want to visit more places in Sumeru. That way. I can help the car crafts create an R and R carving that everyone will love. And I also want to take pictures of Dad everywhere that we travel to. I see. You, you still want me to come with you? Even after all I've done? Yeah, of course. Come on, you're the best dad ever. This is the happiest Razi has sounded since we met him. It is. It really thank is. Thank you, Kale. Huh? Me? I... I didn't do anything to help. You told me about telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Even though I didn't have the time to find a tree hollow, telling everyone my secret made me feel so much better. Yeah, it's hard to keep too many secrets, and there's no need to hide our mistakes from others all the time. Mm -hmm. I made a lot of mistakes back in Mondstadt, but when I look back on them, it all feels more like a new beginning. I'm sure this experience will be the same for Tanja. Yes, I'll do my best to become a good father again. Wait. Did you just say you've been to Mondstadt? Yep. Uh, that was a slip of the tongue. I just, uh, just passed by once. Never mind that. Come on now. A car crash is waiting for us. Let's go, Rosie. Grab that camera and see what hidden inspiration you can discover along the way. <laughs> okay, let's go. 
Let us go. Razi, slow down and watch your step. Yeah. Okay. Eighty primo gems, Jesus. Um, whenever, you know, the event story closes, I'll maybe not do it, because I don't know if I'll be streaming when... I don't know, we'll see. But I'm going to do this stuff off camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think, you know, some of this stuff should be good. I can take pictures of things. But I have, in fact, been... Yeah, still locked. Seven hours, but you know. I don't think you guys are missing too terribly much. You know? So, yeah. I am gonna end it. I'm sorry I'm not, like, up upbeat. I have a lot on my mind now. Um, but it is good knowing that, you know, the stress we were put through uh, during those last moments there, uh, you know, we're not- oh yeah, and I've fought this guy so many times, I'll just- There, I guess you saw me do that on camera, and you didn't see this one. Yeah, because I did that in co-op. Uh... Okay. Actually, yeah, no, wait. So I got these, I can buy- I can buy Primo gems? Okay. Yeah, that that's amazing. But yeah, no. Um, I hope you enjoyed my emotional roller coaster of pain and sorrow. Um, that was all a lot, and I certainly went through it. I was not expecting that, especially after my internet cut out initially, but I think the internet itself cutting out was an omen. A lot of stuff happened today, and... Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Kasva. I need that little musical number. But no. This, this... Archon quest so far has been really amazing. It, it really has sucker punched you with a lot of things, and there's still so many questions. Like, stuff with Alhatham. Uh, and, uh... What's really going on with the sages? Like, what's their plan with everything? So. Truly the mystery that I do hope we get to resolve and solve soon. But I will see you all. Remember to follow if you are interested in content. Otherwise, go over to my second channel. Not the main one, the second one. And that's where I would either stream or I'd just upload in general if I don't actually come back on Twitch for a little bit. Twitch is a whole new thing that I'm not really used to. So that will explain where I've been. See ya.